Are you saying therefore the elections were not free and fair? Is P. Chidambaram saying that 2024 elections were not free and fair? Of course, they were not free and fair. How can we fight an election with one hand or both hands tied behind our backs? Our bank accounts were frozen. Please understand that. Can you imagine any other country, say the American elections are going to take place, if the bank accounts of um, either uh, one party or the other party are frozen, would you accept that as free and fair elections? They were substantially, people were allowed to vote, but there were so many hurdles placed in the way that they are less than fair and less than free. You are saying they are less than fair, less than free. There will be those who say, and we will come to your manifesto which you brought with you in a moment, but the fact is that the Congress also claimed Samvidhan Khatre Mein Hai. Rahul Gandhi was going around the country with a pocket constitution in his hand, claiming that the constitution was in danger if the BJP was re-elected. Did you willfully spread this misinformation, disinformation, and if the BJP comes to power, reservations will go, and Samvidhan Khatre Mein Hai. So, while the elections you claim are not free and fair, did the Congress also play fair? The, the constitution was in danger. I have campaigned in hundreds of villages. You think the concern is only in a city like Mumbai or Delhi? In the villages, in that short five, seven minute speech, I have pointed out that the constitution is in danger. How? Because they will amend the constitution. If you did not get the feeling in Delhi, after so many years in Delhi, that they were preparing to amend the constitution, I think you are naive. Even after getting only 240 seats, they are planning to amend the constitution. Mr. Chidambaram, the Congress party didn't just say amend the constitution. They said reservations will of be course. taken away. Of course it Do will you really be believe away. that reservations would be taken away by yes. any government today in India? It's not any government. It's Modi government. And Modi government will not hesitate to take away reservations or dilute reservations. What, what have they done? The 10% EWS, 10% EWS is a dilution of reservation. Economically weaker sections getting 10% reservations. Economically weaker sections minus the weaker sections of the scheduled caste, scheduled tribe and OBC. So what is it? Economic weaker sections of the 10% of India. Cleared by the Supreme Court, Mr. Chidambaram. The Supreme Court did ruled it constitutional. So when you say Samvidhan Khatre Mein Hai, I want clarity. What is the Samvidhan Khatre Mein Hai that you are claiming that you all went around the country talking about? Let's talk about a minute about the Supreme Court judgment. Five judges divided three is to two. Have you read the two powerful dissents by two of the most brilliant judges. So one day that three is to two can be overturned. Mm -hmm. And I hope that that three is to two is overturned soon. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.